Now, bamboos generally tend to be upright citizens, but these storks have grown fangs and wanted to chow down on Kutaro. If I might share a bit of moon lore, have you heard this one? Once upon a time, there was a lineage of radiant moon princesses who began their lives as tiny babies inside bamboo stalks. But then, one of the princess's souls had a little mishap and wound up in a bamboo stalk on Earth by accident. Sort of the opposite of young Kutaro here. Forget about Kutaro. How can you bring up radiant princesses and not mention me? Do your job, please. What? How dare you question your narrator? I'm omniscient. If you know everything, then you know who I am. Or wait, are you saving that for surprise? Whatever. So what happened to the bamboo babe who got stranded on Earth? Things worked out, of course, as they do in all modern sanitized fairy tales. The princess made it home to the moon and lived happily ever after. A Koinobori streamer? And is that a panda? It's playing with the bamboo. That's so adorable. Hey, look! Bamboo shoot! Koinabori are an old tradition representing the carp as he swims his way up the waterfall to become a dragon. They're symbols of growing up healthy and strong. I know that, but who put them up? Oh, let's not get mired in details. Aren't you in a hurry? So, is this big panda the other fella's mother or what? Rat's purple goo had already fouled up the Moonwood's pristine water supply, transforming the local carp into ferocious demon fish who took none too kindly to trespassers. Hey, you don't suppose the rat is hiding out up river at the top of the waterfall? Rat's purple goo had already fouled up the Moonwood's pristine water supply, transforming the local carp into ferocious demon fish who took none too kindly to trespassers. Hey, you don't suppose the rat is hiding out upriver at the top of the waterfall? Kutaro arrived at a bridge that arched a truly impressive waterfall. Holy Cascade! Do we really have to climb this thing? Keep climbing and don't look down! Thank <laughs> you. 
into a baleful twist of briars. into a baleful twist of briars. into a baleful twist of briars.
Now that Kutuvo and Calibris had excised the darkness, the old cherry tree could go back to his usual agenda, standing tall, looking blooming or radiant. In the mystical cave behind the waterfall, our hero stumbled upon a strange scroll that could only be important. Oh my gosh! That's the scroll of the Moon Ninja! I've seen it before! How do we get past this magic? Somebody doesn't want us to have that scroll. Kutaro acquired the ninja's powers. Nin nin! Nin nin! Ninja! Splendid, Kutaro! Now you have the knight's powers and the nipple! Who turned out the lights? Luna Candela! Funky? That usually works. Kutaro, use the ninja's powers to light up the cave. What's your aim, dear? Again. I don't have all day! Just hurry up and do it! Good. Just a little brighter now. Eh? That's a boy. Finally, we can have some lighting. Wait! Now it's too bright! Blast it! <laughs> you can see all my warts! Here, aim for that bomb symbol at your feet. Don't throw it! Set it down! Don't throw it! All right, one final test. Hit me with a bomb. In. <laughs> What's more, tadpole? I certify you ninja proficient! In! <laughs> the moon would swine! Time to spruce up the spruces! Whoa! Holy sacrilege! Oh, the horror! Rat squeaked with satisfaction at his handiwork. The hallowed shrine of the forest gods had been transformed, corrupted.
So Kutaro snipped the ghastly lantern down to size and returned the shrine to normal. The Tory gate guarding the shrine had been sapped of its power by sorcerous chains. Kutaro used Calibrus and the ninja's powers to fell his enemies and rekindle the shrine's power one step at a time. Formed into a weaver, one of the Moonbear King's faithful servants, who seemed quite intent that Kutaro joined the club. You gotta jump away before you get whacked! What a fight it was, as Kutaro dodged scalding flames and swinging death and leapt from Tycho to Tycho. You gotta jump away before you get whacked!
Done, Kutaro! The Shrine's Weaver had been vanquished, and the souls of the children it held captive returned to Earth. Calabras! No! My scissors! I don't want to go back to me! <laughs> <laughs> What is going on? But this had better be important, or else. They what? Brett is supposed to be guarding that forest. Talk to him. Yes, he would say that. The buffoon. The tiger. I'm beginning to think the problem with my generals is that I have any! Hmm. hmm. With this week's conspiracy, they steal Calibus, they escape my castle, now they conveniently find the Moonwood. Do you think someone else is pulling the strings? Right. Keep a close eye on them. I shall take matters into my own claws. <laughs> Never fear, you beautiful brute. You just need to find their ringleader. And then, what you do, you can tear them into tiny and threatening little bats! Ah! Ah! Put toxin production on hold. Kutaro has been spotted in the moonwood. Then the rat has failed in his task. Say the word, sire, and I will strike your enemies down. Very well. Crash the life out of Kutaro, no matter the cost, and you will be well rewarded. The reward is in the crushing. Watch as I devour all that stands in my path. 